Dozens of people in Fort Wayne were part of a nationwide event today, an event aimed at raising awareness of child abuse. April is National Child Abuse Prevention Month. In Indiana alone, the number of kids who died from abuse or neglect increased by 60 percent from 2010 to 2011. And today, lots of people put on their walking shoes and held signs in the hopes of ending the violence. News Channel 15's Gina Glaros was there for that march, and Gina joins us now. That's right, Mark and Heather. A child abuse report is made every 10 seconds. Still, more than five kids die every day. That's why people in Fort Wayne and hundreds of cities are speaking out today. Time for sentencing now. People in Fort Wayne march for those kids who have been abused, are suffering now, or will be. Tabitha Cadle is walking for her daughter, who she never met 21 years ago. When I was abused, um, and she was stillborn, I have um, six other children that were also abused, but they have survived. Cadle was too afraid to leave. We hit it really well. You get good at hiding it. You get good at keeping the, the demons in your own home. It's stories like Cadle's why folks are participating in Million March Against Child Abuse. In 2011, the National Child Abuse and Neglect Data System reported almost 700,000 victims. Every year, over 3 million reports are made. The goal is to raise awareness of child abuse and promote stricter penalties for offenders. They also want to help stop shaken baby syndrome, a condition where shaking can cause brain damage or death. There's 200 cities across the United States taking place in this and 45 states. Um, it's estimated that a quarter of a million people are out today walking. Carolyn Smith and her family are not personally affected by child abuse, but she thinks about her 10 grandchildren. That's why she made sure Fort Wayne participated in Monday's march by bringing it here. I'm tired of reading about it, tired of seeing too many children. If you look at the statistics, um, there's too many children, way too many. But one child's too many. Kate and her kids are finally free. Wow, refreshing. I've kept it in. I've been afraid to speak up. And now I feel freeing that I can speak out and say I'm no longer going to keep silent about it. She has a message for other victims. Get out, turn them in. I didn't. I was afraid for my own life. Turn them in. The child's life is so much more important. If you are a victim or you know someone who is, report it. Under Indiana law, you are required to report child abuse if you suspect it. Okay, thank you, Gina.